Steven is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Oh, oh. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Oh, oh. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe. What I think it is. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say. I'll have to open it and have a look. I've just got a mystery parcel delivered from Scotland. And if it's what I think it is, I want to share it with you. Because as you know, I like beach detecting, but the day is just not up to it. Some people say they get on great with a day us on the beach. I just don't. And I know several people like me, so it's not just me. Um, I'm going to have fun with this. I'll get this set up later on and next time I'm over at my coastal permission I'll spend some time on the beach. Meanwhile I better learn how it works. Well there we go, out of the box. I've got the MX Sport itself with the extendable three piece rod, 10 inch coil, ordinary headphones, waterproof headphones, MX Sport cap and eight batteries. Now to be honest with you, the only downside I see to not having a Deus is you then got to start buying batteries and I detect quite a lot and we'll go through quite a lot of batteries and in the UK batteries are not cheap and you have to spend money on good ones because poor quality ones are just not the best value so it's going to start costing me in batteries but this might solve now my problem with finding things on the beach looking forward to this. Well I've got the MX Sport all set up and ready to go. Now I've been really spoilt by having the Deus right from day one because I like the idea of having rechargeable batteries which I think I've men mentioned before. So there's a cost to the batteries and I've just discovered one other thing this morning and that is the headphones don't go very well if you're a hat wearer so I actually like the backbone as well on the dais so there's two new things I've got to learn to deal with so this morning I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to do it by the sound on the box instead of headphones just to see how I get on there we go let's get swinging I seem to be having a terrible time getting used to this MX Sport. Uh, I just cannot find targets. I seem to be missing them by miles and I know how to pinpoint and it's just not working for me. I've just dug a hole that big. And it says... It says it's in the hole and yet I've widened the hole at the bottom taken lots of soil out I can't afford to make this hole too big because I'm in a cricket club here so I'm gonna have to go and take this in and get my dais out so I'm gonna leave that hole open and see what the dais says when I get back well I've got the dais now I've just filled that hole back in because the dais told me there was nothing worth digging there at all so even if I'd have found it it'd been iron or something like that but this is a signal which is nice and loud don't know if it'll be any good showing 50s so you never know let's do a live dig uh, there we are so it's no fault of uh, the MX Sport I'm just used to the dais. I can pinpoint very accurately. Okay, it's only a ring tab. 
but I'd have been digging all over the place with the the uh, MX. Oh, this one sounds good. Mid 60s. Got to do a live dig with that one. See if I've hit this one accurately as well. There then. Is it going to be in the plug or in the hole? Ooh, get out of there. Right. Oh, it's not in the hole. Oh, I thought, I thought it was in the back of the plug. Oh, hang on. It's not a very deep target then. Oh. Ah, that's what the Americans call a bit of cancel law. That's been run over by the sport lawnmower, so it's just completely ripped that apart. There's probably bits of more like that on here. Ooh, look at that first coin today, and it's a threepence. Right next to the clubhouse as well. I've not dug many signals around there because of the can law, but that was a really nice 88, and that's come out lovely. But more importantly than that, I mean, have you seen the size of that hole? Look, it's six inch by five inch, so pinpointing with the day this is something I've really learnt the knack with over the last couple of half years and I've got to learn how to do that again now with the MX Sport but saying that it's going to be worth persevering I think but today I'm going to carry on with the dais again a five by five inch hole and a half penny spot on in the middle well as you can see another five by five hole and right in the middle of it just six inches down was an old grotty half penny lots of wrinkles here as well because they stand on that balcony just there at night and have a little jar or two and toss the ring pull. And that's what I'm finding. That's always put me off from digging just here before, but I'm persevering now and uh, going to prove I can pick them out. Now, it's loads of signals. All over the place. But I've just picked one there that I'm going to dig. So I've already done two sides. Do the third and the fourth. This one's a bit bigger plug, so I'm doing it with one hand. Not so accurate, but about six inches square. And still in the hole. Let's see if I've been accurate enough to leave all the junk targets and pick out a coin. we go half penny my ears are so finely tuned into the dais now I don't really have too much of a problem obviously we can't always be perfect but when you know there's loads of coins on this field it's a case of just singling them out and using the experience needed to do it and I'm not going to do that with the MX Sport just yet I need to learn that so another one for the dais I'm not sure how clearly you can hear this on camera it's a tiny signal and it's quite squeaky, you'd easily miss that, I mean, I've missed it obviously dozens of times and numbers high 80s into the low 90s pinpointing that one it's going to be a little bit difficult but I reckon it's right at the end of that coil. So let's mark it. I'll now sit my I'll now sit my camera and we'll dig it and see what happens. Right, here we go. Keep it small, five to six inches square, the width of the blade. It might be deep this one, I don't know, because it's very difficult to hear 
so I might need to take more soil out of the hole. Still in the hole. In this corner somewhere. Oh, I think it's probably junk button. Well, it's obviously a piece of steel or something like that. It's gone rusty. So that's why there was a mixed signal. Super. Let's see what else I can find. Well, that wasn't a brilliant signal, but now I've got the plug out, it sounds really quite nice. So I'm just going to see if I can find it. Get my knife ready. bottom corner there oh, that's on that side now I can see oh, I can see it now it's a coin chip half penny yep and it's Edward the Seventh. No, it's not. It's Her Majesty, our current Queen. Super. Another coin. Hmm. Don't think it's too deep. I heard something then, it clipped something. Um, might be out now, let's have a look. Oh, there we are, what's this? Ah! Well, I've never found one of those on here before. We just fill the hole in. Yep, you can see better now what that is. Um, finger grip. Spike flight, that's a barrel of a dart. I wonder how that got in here. First one I've ever found. Oh well, best find of the day so far. A modern pound coin. It's been there for some while obviously because it's discoloured. So I'm not quite sure how I missed that one. Well I've just spent about half an hour on covering most of this outfield with virtually no signals at all well none worth digging anyway but just in front of the clubhouse again and the last two targets have been a modern 2p and a George the sixth threepence and another threepenny bit this is my day to day for threepenny bits but I've had no silver today it's unusual I usually get silver every time I come down here I've got two last time so maybe I've had the days then Great stuff. Whoops. This one's showing 75. So I must have missed that by millimetres before. Let's get that plug out and we'll see what it is. Oh, it's in the plug. That's exciting. Now then. Knife. Probe. I think I might better see an edge there anyway. Might not need the. Here we go. What's that? Oh, it's a penny. At least it's a coin. Good stuff. I've had a few coins today now. And now I'll walk back to the gate. Might get a signal on the way back, you never know. Well, that's it. I started off with the MX Sport to see how well it would perform. It's just a turn on and go machine and uh, people do rave about it. To tell you the truth, I am quite disappointed. But I'm not disappointed in the machine. Uh, I'm disappointed in me. I now realise after two and a half years of swinging a dais that I'm indoctrinated by the dais. I'm not flexible. My ears, my mind or whatever it is, isn't flexible enough. I'm not experienced enough, if you like, especially with other machines to be able just to pick up another machine and swing it. The experience this morning with the MX Sport 
reminds me of when I first started with the dais and although I was a complete novice then uh, I think it took me about six months to finally get to grips with how the dais really works and how to learn to take advantage of all the settings and everything else and now two and a half years later I find that I'm unable to adapt to anything else um, so I've got my work cut out here I've got to learn how to work this machine and I've got to do it quick because I don't want to miss targets and stuff so I'm going back to the house which I'm approaching now have a quick look at what I found today and I'll be right back to you as I said on the way over to back to the house I'm pretty disappointed in myself for realizing I'm not as flexible as I thought I would be however I did find one or two nice bits and pieces um, not a great deal really I say that was the only thing I found that half pence with the XP sport and it's nothing to do with the XP it's everything to do with me so I've got a lot to learn three threepences a chewed up coin from the lawnmower and various other bits and pieces in couple including a couple of moderns there spendable yeah spend that lovely job I always say these for parking meters those um, dirty or one pound coins anyway so really that's it um, I know I've got a lot to learn I'm fully accepting of that right so I'm taking the MX Sport over to the coast later this week and I just hope I can learn something more about the machine and well anything's gonna be better on the wet beach isn't it than a dais some people argue with that but I think most people will agree that a dais is not good on a salty wet beach so if the MX Sport is brilliant for that and I've been told that it is then that should change my beach detecting no end and I can do lots more of it which will be great um, next year I hope to be able to get out into some water some you know some streams or maybe even shallow rivers where I actually go under the water with a snorkel and goggles and do some detecting there so I'll be using the MX Sport for that too anyway um, I was hoping to bring you some more exciting stuff especially some silvers or two but that wasn't to be today so if you liked anything you saw on there at all leave a thumbs up if you didn't like anything at all don't bother even leave a thumbs down if you wish but you know I'll leave that to you but if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so I'm gonna bring you some more videos with the MX Sport as I begin to learn how to use it catch you later Steven is the man with the hat and the metal detector oh, oh. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector oh, oh. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes Looking for anything that's old New videos every week, so please subscribe